Wow. <laughs> April Two States told me don't quit my day job. That's awesome. That's okay. I guess she heard some of the album and she didn't like it. It's okay. But then she deleted the comment. I wonder why. It'd be real cool to know why she deleted the comment. Maybe she thought it was too mean. I don't know. But April, it's too late. I already quit my job and I'm having the best time in my life. You think they'd hire me back? I'd never go back, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so. Dub Productions. What's up guys, you got the Recoma MT-1501 getting busy in the background knocking out these designs. I'm gonna show you how I do this and how you can do it to an MT-1501 right after this intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Dub Productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Uh, we got our t-shirt and we got some stabilizer this is uh of course oh that tear is pretty good easy um but yeah it's um it's it's cutaway stabilizer but it yeah uh, anyway <laughs> anyway guys see what happened right there that tear pretty easy right but um all right so let me zoom out real fast okay y'all got me so we're gonna turn this inside out Turn the shirt inside out that's the first step we're gonna be embroidered on this for a client this is client work that i'm doing right now guys all right, this is not just to show you guys. This is actually goes to somebody. This belongs to somebody. All right, we're embroidering their logo onto this shirt. So boom, we're putting the logo. It's gonna go in the chest area right here. So we got our stabilizer right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some adhesive onto the stabilizer. Same way I do it. All right, adhesive spray on there. Notice how I coated it a little bit better this time, right? And now lay the shirt back down. Normally I wouldn't do it on this surface right here. I would do it on something bigger, but for demonstration purposes for the video, all right? So get it nice and flat. Then I take my adhesive, my uh, uh, tear away, cut away rather, and I just lay it down on the shirt. Make sure no wrinkles, of course. Boom. Nice and good, All right? All right, make sure you get the wrinkles out. Cool. Right, I feel a little something underneath there. Gotta make sure, oh yeah, that's on the second, second level. It's on the bottom part. All right, so boom. I always use spray adhesive when I'm doing garments. You don't have to. A lot of people don't use spray adhesive. They just use the uh, stabilizer. So that part is not necessary. I just like a little extra layer of protection, All right? So now, flip it back right side in. That's just something to help keep it in place. Back right side in. And I'll show you why everybody loves Mighty Hoops real fast, guys. All right. Shirts right side in, get all these wrinkles out. The front right there. See how it looks very stable. It looks a little thicker, that part right there. All right, boom. These are the hoops that you wanna get rid of and get your manual, uh, your Mighty Hoop, all right? So um, you loosen this up, loosen it up enough so you can slide the shirt along with the stabilizer in there, nice and loose, and you're gonna I'm turning it this way. You're gonna turn it back that way to tighten it up. This is the top part, this is the bottom part. So you put the bottom part at the bottom. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, I've demonstrated this before. Put the bottom part at the bottom. The most important part about embroidering is hooping and stabilizing. All right, bottom part at the bottom. Now you position it. Position the hoop. And try to position your hoop so that the middle falls where you want it to be. You know what I mean? Um, make sure your stabilizer is on four sides. I can feel it, so I know my stabilizer is on four sides. All right, got it in the center. Make sure it's kind of straight. Then you take the bottom part. You always know which part is, is I mean the top part. You always know what the top part is because this part, little U right here, is always gonna be on the right side. This part right here is different from it, all right? So now I'm placing it on top and I'm just like looking to make sure it's centered. And that looks about good. If, if it's not, then I could just turn it just a little bit. All right, all right, that looks about good. 
So now I can just come and I just press straight down and this table is it's kind of like, yeah, press straight down on it. This is where it helps to have a better, um, more stable surface. But this table is kind of like convertible that I'm working on right here. All right. So when you press straight down, it puts the hoop on the inside of the other part. And there you go. That's another way to do it. So I just push down and that's pretty good. That's, that's good enough. Don't want to stretch the shirt. You want to avoid stretching the fabric. All right. So now that you got it, the hoop inside, you just go ahead and tighten it up on this side. Go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure this part of the hoop that's on the inside of the shirt is pressing up against this. Same on the other side. Now, once again, we're all hooped up and ready to go. Let's load up the machine again. So we're going to go straight into it. Loading up the machine with this one. Same concept. In with the neck. And the garment drops down on the side and the arms slide in underneath here. Lock it in. Ready to embroider. That easy, guys. All right. So now we trace again. See our image right there on the screen. Sorry about that. We're doing it just like we do the uh, SC600 videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the trace button, which is right here. And I'm going to let it trace and we're going to make sure that it does not hit the one needle does not hit any the side left or right i need to oil this because when you put it down it should come right up this one i'll put it down and it stays down yeah you want it to come up so i gotta oil this so let me hit the trace button okay boom yep it's not gonna hit bring that up just make sure up oh, the side is a little close Looks like it's gonna hit the side right here, but to make sure it's not gonna hit the side because this part right here of the image, it's not embroidering that high, if you know what I'm talking about. It's, there's no design right here. There's only, it only goes up. Now we're gonna do a contour trace. As you guys can see, I have my laser device right here positioned on the needle. And the way you uh, insert this laser device is you have to press the trace button and it activates the laser, laser device and you have to position the laser beam right underneath the circle. So like you would put that down trace and you would position the laser device right underneath the circle. So it's right underneath there. So now when I trace, right, when I trace, watch this, the laser device comes on and you see exactly where the needle's gonna hit. All right, see that laser device right there? All right, now I don't have to put this needle down and check it like that. I don't have to do that anymore. Laser device takes care of that for me. Love this little laser device thing. Start button is right here. All right, so we're gonna hit it. Now it's gonna start embroidering, all right? Give you guys this view right here. MT-1501 in action, all right? And one thing I forgot to do, guys, I didn't assign a color. And when you don't assign a color on the screen, it, um, when you don't assign a color, it automatically just defaults to white. But I'm gonna assign the color one. One is my white color at the top of the machine. As you guys can see, the first color right here is white. So I put one and I press OK. Now when I press start, it's gonna start embroidering with that first color that I just assigned. All right, so let me give you guys a view so you guys can check the MT1501 out in action. Start. There we go. Right now it's a 600, speed of 600. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. We're gonna go 800. 800. I can even go up to 900 if I wanted to, but we're fine where we're at. Fine where we are. Just gonna let it play out, guys. Play some music for you guys while this is going. This music right here that I'm about to play is from my album, Rockin' With The Best, available on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, all streaming platforms it's available, so I'm gonna play a song for you guys. You guys can check me out on all your streaming platforms. Put me on a playlist, 
share it with your friends, and I'm gonna let this play out, the song play out while this machine embroiders, okay? All right? And I am a verified Spotify artist. Um, I'm proud of that. I just wanna put that out there. Uh, that just happened today. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about this new venture that, that's happening in my life, all right? So, uh, yeah, appreciate it if you guys go check that music out. Available on all streaming platforms, all right? In my heart we're meant to be No one will ever love you like me I lost you for so many years ago But I still can't shake you off my soul Baby, why you keep hunting me? Don't you understand what you're doing to me? Baby, please give me a chance to show The love I had for you One special moment I'm burning to my soul We had a fight and I woke up in the middle of the night I saw your face, your eyes look so sad that you sat in the shadow of a candlelight just looking at me I will never forget how much the moment made me love you a thousand times more I know you know what we share was real, not just something anyone can feel Baby, I will never forget the way you used to look at me You will never understand how much your eyes were telling me And every time we were apart, I didn't feel complete in my heart This pain in my heart is telling me we shouldn't be apart Wish I could explain but I don't know why I let you go, now our love has died My emotions are out of control And my soul is somewhere in the sky on cloud nine Still remember when you said to me I really think that we were meant to be We don't hands and take long walks in the park On the times we share I'm trying to get you to understand the way I feel Maybe this love is real Don't act like you don't know the deal You already know what it is Girl, you gotta understand the way I feel for you Ain't nothing changed even though I was away from you I'll never be with no one like you see this thing mt1501 doing his thing man looking good don't question it great embroidery machine it works don't let anybody tell you differently they're lying to you they've been lying to you all this time guys they've been lying to you use my recoma link down below i'm a recoma affiliate when you use my link it helps me out a lot it helps the channel out a lot use my recoma affiliate link to inquire about getting yours they got great financing program and part of the reason why you hear so much about Rakoma is because they make their machines easily accessible to people like you and me, which is something that we should appreciate, right? Other than that, you'd have to come up with like $20,000 cash money, $40,000 cash money, $16,000 cash money to buy this machine. But they team up with financing companies and make it easily accessible for people like you and me so that we can supplement our incomes all right that's what it's all about it's about supplementing your income it's about doing what you got to do and why not go with the company that makes it easier for you to do that you know what i mean 
I'm not, uh, I might sound like I'm preaching, but look, I got mine. And a lot of people like to say, oh, they gave you that machine. No, they did not give me the machine. I paid for the machine myself. And like I said, I paid for it, meaning that I bought it myself. But for the record, my machine technically is not paid off because it doesn't make any sense to pay it off from a financial perspective. I'm looking at it like if, if I'm financing it with 0% interest and I have the rest of the money that I owe on it, which is 12000 sitting in the bank financially, from a financial perspective, I'd rather hold on to my $12,000 cash, right? And keep my $12,000 cash in my bank account for me, working for me. I can buy some Bitcoin. I can buy, invest in some stocks. I can, you know, do some other things to make my cash work for me. And in the meantime, this machine right here, the account that I bought it with, 0% interest, which means I'm not paying any interest over the term of the loan. And I'm still ahead, I still pay ahead on my payments. So. My machine is paid for because I have the cash to pay for it, but technically it's not paid for, but I bought the machine on my own. So this is not like I have to say what Rekoma tells me. It's not, it's not that type of party guys at all. All right, so guys, um, like I said, MT1501, Rekoma links down below. You guys see it. Let me get you a closer view. Let me get you a closer view, give me a second. Let me get you, matter of fact, I'm not even gonna cut. Let me try to move the camera a little bit. All right, sorry about that guys. Hold on, I get you a closer view. I don't like to cut because people like to think that something happened. You know, you guys are gonna watch this, stitch the entire thing out in one take. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. You guys wanna see this machine do its thing. That's what you guys wanna be assured that you're gonna make a purchase and the purchase is gonna be a good purchase and you're not wasting your money, right? Check it out. Check it out. You guys want to see the whole thing? I don't know. Uh, I'll probably cut because I think I've done enough of these videos to prove to you guys that this thing is legit, right? So I'll probably cut just to make this um, not that long of a video. All right, so I'll be right back. But you see what it's doing. You see it doing this thing. Set it and forget it. You can walk away right now and come back when it's done. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. Just to keep you guys up to speed, going smooth. Been going smooth the whole time. I just wanted to tap in with you guys so you guys can see where we're at real fast. Gave you guys a little small commercial break, right? A little small, tiny thing. I'm gonna start inserting like, I'm gonna start making my own commercials and putting them inside of the videos. What do you guys think about that? It's crazy, right? Yeah. Well, it's not crazy, it's like, it makes sense. Like, that's what they do on, um on podcasts and radio shows, the hosts make their own uh, commercials. I'm about to start doing that on my videos, right? Another thing you could do, another thing I could do. So uh, yeah, you see it, still doing this thing. Almost done guys, check it out. A-Dub Productions. Look at that, right? See that on the shirt right there? And look at that, just like that, we're done. We're done, that easy. Look, got the full design on there. Sense of glory, candle company. Check them out. They have a website. You can buy some scented candles or you can buy some THC candles, guys. How about that? Yeah. All right, so let's take it out. Only thing we got to do is remove that like that, and that's it. We're pretty much, pretty much done, guys. Can't really beat that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're just going to unhoop it. And we're going to do the next one. All right, pretty much done. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. You see, I'm still knocking them out. I'm um, going to be done soon. Um, use my Recoma affiliate link down in the description below if you are interested in purchasing this machine. Don't believe the hype, guys. Believe your eyes, like I always say. Great machine. Workhorse. And I'm going to keep on making videos on it. And watch for the commenters, guys. Watch. It's the same people that comment. Um, only on the Rakoma videos, guys. It's, it's, it's hilarious, it's hilarious. But you see it, right? Trust me, boy, trust me with the uh, SE600, trust me with the SG500, trust me with everything else. You won't be disappointed. Just take your time. It's a little bit more intricate than the other machines. And we can go, all right? Talk to you guys on the next video. It's your boy, Alan Wade. I'm out, peace. Listen.
to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Oh,